New executives uh, being put in place uh, around our nine provinces. And in fact, the new premier of the Eastern Cape is uh, Pumulo Maswale. He is the, he's also the chairperson of the ANC in the province. And uh, during the nomination process, his name was the only one put forward by the provincial structure of the ANC. But two extra names had to be submitted uh, afterwards as per the nomination protocol for the premiers of the ANC. But he has his work cut out for him as he has to steer the beleaguered education and health departments to calmer waters. Well, let's cross to him now, live in the capital of the Eastern Cape, Bishu. Let's uh, speak to Premier uh, Pumula Muswale. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, Premier. And uh, first, I guess, congratulations on your appointment and uh, your thoughts on taking over this uh, office. Thank you very much, Peter, and uh, good morning to you. Good morning to the viewers. Uh, indeed, it is uh, quite a challenging uh, one, uh, it's, but it's a task that uh, we are embracing, um, also embracing on a stride. I think uh, we've got our work cut out for us, but uh, we've got everything in place, and I'm quite definite that uh, we'll be able to make the necessary difference as we go along. Mm. Our province, as you know, is a rural province that itself provides an opportunity to crowd in uh, infrastructural development growing the potential of the province because we do have one of the vast uh, lands that are not developed agriculturally. This is the space which we are going to exploit to improve the economic well-being of the province. Of course, ensuring as well that there is integration with the rest of the national economy. Some of the national projects that are already underway promise to make us really realize the objective of ensuring that we address the ills of unemployment we also improve the well-being of the people of the province. All right. And I, and I guess one of the big things in your province in particular is unemployment. And as you said, you know, you're going to have to kickstart the economy somehow. Um, when do you think that people will start to say, OK, things are turning around, we can start to feel the difference? Have you got a timeline that you've put, yourself, uh, that you've put for yourself? We have already begun uh, with uh, converting the manifesto into a five-year implementation program. We will be tabling uh, that plan uh, before the end of June, which will be broken down into yearly accounts, yearly uh, accounts of what we'll be doing each year. And I'm very definite that uh, we will, uh, within the short period of time, as we're breaking this annually, to record progress uh, th as well as reporting on that progress. It's something that I intend also having with the MECs some delivery agreements that this year this is what we're going to achieve and we can actually hold everyone accountable to that. Education has been one area that's been a challenge uh, for your province and I'm just wondering what sort of conversation you've had with your MEC for education. We have uh, in education ensured first that uh, there is continuity because we're beginning to see incremental improvements which we seek to uh, elevate because the pace is very slow but definitely the positive uh, uh, trend that is taking place in education we seek to ramp it up and that is the brief that I gave uh, to the MBC. Uh, in terms of the last year's uh, outcomes in terms of grade 12 results we're still far below the national average we want to increase and do better than 70 percent this time around. And how do you plan to keep skills and people in the Eastern Cape? Because we've seen people come to Johannesburg, go to the Western Cape, and that's depriving you of homegrown skills in some, in some areas. That is true, Peter, but uh, already we've put in place uh, uh, outreach exercises where we're reaching mm. out to those who come from this province uh, to invite and create an environment for them to come and apply their, their skills uh, in the province. We do need for our local government uh, space, provincial government departments, even local industry, some of the skills that are all over the country. Of course, we've got to create attractive conditions for them to come and, and, and reside in the province. It is something that uh, we will be aggressive in dealing with in the coming months. All right, OK, and perhaps finally, people watching uh, this interview right now, what are your uh, words for the people of the Eastern Cape that you'd like to leave them with? Absolutely. First, it was real to express our gratitude uh, that uh, we've been given the opportunity, but also to pledge our commitment to work together with the people of the province 
behind the program of bringing change in the province. It is something we seek to have social coherence behind and ensure that we move the province forward. All right. Premier Maswale, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. And uh, we certainly wish you luck with your administration and turning on the province around. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Peter. All right. Okay. So that was the Premier of uh, the Eastern Cape, Premier Pumulo Maswale. Uh, he's very optimistic about uh, what he and his executive can do. And uh, as you know, 60% of his MECs are women. And talking about women...